Uh, hey, what's up YouTube? I got a quick one for you today. I'm answering the question of how do you check and see if your knife's sharp? I got three methods. Number one, three finger test. Number two, paper method. Number three, shave test. Let's go over these and see what they are. All right, test number one is called the three finger test of edge sharpness. I got this one from a guy named Murray Carter. Um, his method is to take three fingers and fill your blade. Here's how you do it safely. All right, you go to your go grab a knife. And you want three fingers to be touching the edge of your blade, and your thumb to be resting on the back. And what you're doing, your thumbs here, your three fingers come up gently, which is the tiniest bit of pressure there, and you slide up and down your blade. Okay, now. How this works, number one, it's safe because your, your brain won't allow, your, allow you to cut yourself doing this. When it's sharp, your brain's going to say, hold up a second, maybe we shouldn't do that, and it's going to stop you from pushing in any harder. You're not going to cut yourself, okay? And you can see, I'm pushing actually pretty decent to where it can leave lines, all right? Your knife, this knife isn't sharp. Right now, I mean, it's it's okay. It's okay as far as sharpness goes, but I can I can rub it up and down. It's not hurting me, okay? Now, you go up and down with three fingers. I'm on the, uh, sort of the, the fleshy, fleshy parts of your fingers, okay? You want a part that's not calloused up. Whatever part's easiest, okay? I'm going to go up and down, and you're going to feel it. If it is slidey, it is dull. If it sticks to your finger, if it feels like it's digging in, it's cutting in, then your knife is sharp there. Okay, so you could feel up and down. You could say, okay, it's smooth here. Oop, I got a little chip here. Okay, got a little sharp section here. Go up here, I got another small chip that I got to fix. Go up here, dull as can be. Towards the tip, I got a little bit sharp area, and it's back to dull again. And then your and then your tip. Okay, if you want to feel your tip, thumbtack method is you want to see if it'll grip the fleshy section of your thumb, like you'd be touching a thumbtack, and it should be sticking to your skin. If it's not, it's not pokey enough. Okay, but that's t test number one. Show you again another dull knife that needs sharpened. Go like this all day. I can push in real hard. It's not cutting me. And it's not going to. Doll's knife. Uh, the, yeah, the doll's knife. The knife is dull. Now this one, this is an example of a sharp knife. I have it sharpened up. And if I go like that, I'm barely touching it. It doesn't, it doesn't want to slide up and down. It wants to dig in and cut me. And doing this, just the slightest bit of touching it, I get tiny little paper cuts. You're not going to be able to see it on camera, but you could, I can see it in real life. Tiny little paper cuts, barely touching it. My, and, you know, my brain's not stupid enough to say, "Hey, push in and, and slide on that." Okay, so always start very lightly, but as you get confidence and experience, you can play around with that a little bit more and uh, continue to do it more. You'll learn from it. Your your brain will work for you. Believe it or not, you have one. You know, <laughs> next method. Method two, paper test. Get yourself a paper. You want to hold it so it's curvy a little bit so it sticks out, okay? Take the knife at sort of a 45 degree angle and see if it will slice. This knife is dull. And it is ripping the paper. Okay? It'll go through, but very choppily. Okay? Same thing with this, this next knife. It's okay sharp, but it's still dull. Okay? You can see it's sort of jaggedy. Okay. 
This one's sharp. Do you see the difference? You can take this in little tiny cuts. You could feather it. A bunch of little tiny, you know, you could play and see how thin can you actually get those. If you get it thin enough, you can get little curly cues. Sort of fun. Good deal? Method three. Method three is a shave test. Okay? okay? Take a knife, find a spot on your arm, move it just the slightest bit, barely touching you. This one, nothing. Not a single hair. Okay? Nada. This one, And you can actually see them pop off. Ton of hairs. Instant bald spot. No pressure at all. Way to the knife. Should be able to make a big bald spot on you. If I had curly, I, listen. If I had black hair, I'd be a gorilla. You know, you guys <laughs> can't even see see it on me unless you're, you know, zooming in or in person here. But shave test. Does it shave? Okay, those are the three tests. Bada bing, bada boom. You know, and that that's about it as far as you know tests to see uh, if it's sharp or not. And that works for ninety nine percent of the knives out there. Now, edge geometry, what grind it is. You know, if it's if it's hollow, if it's if it's fatter. You know, different varieties of, of grinds, blade thickness. You know, your primary edge versus your secondary edge thickness. Those all go into play into how far and how well it, it shaves and, and cuts and slices um, to see how sh sharp your actually your knife actually is. If I took this knife and I completely flattened it out on a on a sidewalk, because of how thin it is, it will still be able to chop through vegetables, meat, all that stuff just fine. You know, for but if you want it to be hair whittling sharp. You know, you have to put an apex on it. You have to sharpen it properly. And all of that good stuff as far as how to get it to that level of sharpness. We're going to talk about those on future videos. Um, so stick around. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below, all that good stuff. All right. But to, to check it out and to see um, what's what's going on as far as that goes. How do I take my knife that's, that's dull? Oh, it doesn't cut me at all. I'm not scared of it. It doesn't shave me. You know, you can't even cut a piece of paper. That's okay. We can fix it. Stick around. All right? Subscribe for the next one. Um, as far as paper goes, yeah, if you just hold your paper here and try to cut it straight down, you can have difficulty. Um, there's a little technique to it. You know, hold it so it sticks out and have the knife at an angle. And an angle like this. It's not straight, but angled and a 45 this way at the same time and see if you can get a little bit of a slicing action that way um it's a little bit uh cool to be able to do this and um you see people do it different techniques now can it be done holding it straight and straight down absolutely it can um however you know uh you you need the, an extra layer of sharpness to be able to do that it's significantly easier if you um, if you have the angle and stuff going with it, but uh, anyhow, that's that's about it. I mean, you, you there are machines that exist um, where you set your knife in it and it tells you how sharp your knife is. Um, there's different angle grinds. You can check out a uh, a microscope and see how how sharp your edge is. You know, there's various different ways to actually tell, but those are just three simple. Hey, I'm gonna do this in three seconds and give me a, a decent idea of how sharp my knife is. It's about it, guys. It's not rocket science. Rocket science. Science. Yeah, I can't, can't even speak, but that's all right. Um, at this point, I'm just rambling on, getting a little bit extra view time. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Like, subscribe, comment down below. All that good stuff. We're going to check your knives. Why does... One last thought that entered my head real quick. 
Why does uh, why does it grip your fingers on the three finger test? Well, your blade, as it's going going along on a microscopic level, when it's dull, it's round. When you have it sharp, it has little tiny teeth. Those teeth dig in. They dig in, and they will. They're what do the cutting. It's a microscopic saw. And that's what, it digs in, it grips into your skin, it holds on, and it does the same thing with whatever it is you're cutting as well. Um, let's say you're, you're cutting a chicken for dinner. Those super tiny teeth, once you have it apexed from being round to being apexed with the burrs, have everything settled out, you have little tiny teeth that's digging in and doing chopping, slicing, whatever. Um... And that's what you're feeling in your finger. You're feeling it go from the, the round edge, round or flat, to the teeth. And that's, that's what's digging in. That's, that's why it does that. Before I get a thousand comments in, that, uh, in the comments section about that. But anyway, that's about it, guys. Hope you liked this one. Um, that's about it. Let me, let me know uh, your questions, what you want to see next. Later, guys.